Hello, it is Tuesday, July 25th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Tuesday crossword today, which means it shouldn't be too tricky, and that's good because exactly, I suppose, as I was last Tuesday, now that I think about it, I'm running extremely late, so I'm, I'm short on time. I need to get this crossword solved quickly. So this um, possibly speedy edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by David Innes, Josh Lucas, Alex, and, as always, the indomitable Shawlmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. Thank you so much to um, those benefactors and to everybody who has backed the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. I really do appreciate it. It does keep this channel and this series going. You can become a supporter yourself over at patreon.com slash daily solve or via the link in the description field. There, of course, you can find the bonus videos as well as for benefactors, the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug. So, um, do also subscribe. Thank you again to everybody who is a patron at any level. And um, do subscribe to the channel on YouTube if you've not gotten around to that. There's also the Daily Solve Discord chat server. You can join in the description field link. So um, consider that as well. All right, let's get right onto the puzzle. So this is a Tuesday themed crossword by Gary Larson and Doug Peterson. Gary Larson, I think about half a, do half a dozen puzzles to his name. Doug Peterson, several dozen. So a uh, collaboration between a very experienced and somewhat experienced New York Times crossword constructor. And let's start solving and see how we get on with this one. Oh, it was edited as always by Will Shorts. Did I say that? I can't remember, uh, but it was. All right, we'll start off with a cul-de-sac, sort of uh, street without a sort of through um, exit on in a residential area. The Deadly Sins, e.g., are septet. There are seven of them. Dawn goddess is Aurora, I would say. And currency that replaced the mark would be the euro, placed it in, in Germany. What streets do on an urban map? They crisscross? I mean, sort of depends what urban area you're in. That <laughs> doesn't necessarily happen uh, any more than it would anywhere else. If you're not in a grid-based city, I'm not sure. Maybe I have the answer wrong. I don't know. School marmish. If you're a school marmish, you're a prig, maybe, or you're maybe you. I mean, you couldn't say that person is prig. You'd say priggish. So maybe prim, like prim and proper, that sort of thing. Yes, because then meditation syllables could be ohms that that chant ohm. So, oh right, this is probably a thematic clue. Two things associated with a game of horseshoes. Uh, toss, tossing, toss. Game of horseshoes. What else is associated with horseshoes? A peg that you toss the horseshoe onto. Um, aim, I'm not sure. Not really sure what that's looking for, sorry. Star Wars or Gladiator, e.g. An epic, a saga... Maybe this is tossing and turning. It's a phrase, so it's sort of, it would be kind of, but it's a, it's not going to fit. So tossing and turning. So yeah, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of that, but but um, I don't think it's the correct answer. Star Wars or Gladiator, e.g. Right, what did I say? Epic or saga? What about this one? Bit of military planning, a tactic. Okay, so this could be an epic then with that I. Two things associated with the tale of Sisyphus. Rock and rolling. Oh, right. Okay, no, that still doesn't fit. Oh, boy. I, I feel like I'm on the right track with these, but I can't make my preferred answers fit. So the reason I say that is because Sisyphus, of course, mythologically, was the figure um, doomed to uh, push a rock up a hill uh, for all eternity. So you push the rock up, it would fall down, you would push it back up again. Uh, so it's sort of, you know, the two things associated with them are the rock and then the rolling of the rock. And of course, rock and roll is a phrase. Rocking and rolling. Maybe it's something like rock and rolling. That still doesn't fit. Very confused by what's going on here. That feels so tight. It feels so thematically sort of likely, but I just can't get it to work. Weans or tots, children. I suppose... If I put it, if I put a rebus in here, I don't think this is this, it's still a letter too short. I'm just trying to think, is there some way I can make this work? I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm on the wrong track entirely. 
something tough to be in. If you're in a spot, you could be in a tough spot, which I feel I am with respect to this theme. Planetarium panorama, the sky, the, the night sky might be a, a panorama you see in a planetarium, looking at the arrangement of the stars. Classic slapstick prop. Um, a, oh, a pie. Someone getting hit in the face with a pie is a classic slapstick gag, so the pie would be the prop. No question, yes, simply an affirmative answer. Two things associated with Gene Simmons. Well, Gene Simmons was, uh, was is, I guess, a member of the band Kiss. Um, Kiss and Tell. Uh, I don't know why Tell would mean anything. Kiss, kiss and makeup, makeup, kiss, kiss and makeup. Oh, once again, it's not going to, f- oh, that does fit. Oh, I just assumed that wouldn't fit based on my experience with these. Well, that's disconcerting. That means I just have the wrong answers here then. If, oh, that's a shame. But rock and roll really fits, really seems like it should be the answer. Um, interesting. Okay. Right. So I think that's, I think that's the answer. I think I was on the right track with a theme before. I just couldn't, couldn't get to the right result. Wi-Fi or room safe at a hotel. Those are amenities, so sort of features that the hotel um, advertises. Um, auntie's mom could be a nana, grandmother. Um, spice related to nutmeg. Mace is related to nutmeg. And rock band with a slash in its name, ACDC stylizes its name with a slash in between the C and D. Subterranean fairy tale creature, a, n- a gnome? Are gnomes subterranean? I think that must be the answer. Um, blank mode of the Incredibles. Edna mode was the costume designer character in the Incredibles. I think she was played by Brad Bird, the, the director of the film. Um, and I think she was also based on the actual costume designer, Edith Head. All right, downside. A downside would be a con, a negative, um, a disadvantage. Setting for a bicycle race. Um, so, oh, a gear setting. Right, the question mark indicates it. So there's a bit of punnery. The setting not meaning a, a, a place, but rather something. You know, you'd set this on the bicycle. The gear uh, appropriate to the Tour de France in the news. Eye droplet. A tear, I suppose, a droplet from one's eye. This so yeah, this look like rock and rock and roller. I don't know. I, I'm I'm very baffled by this tree-like cactus, a saguaro. Yeah, okay, associated with the American Southwest. Um, wouldn't wouldn't fault someone for not knowing that if you didn't have a particular context around it. Chow down could be to eat. I actually learned that. <laughs> I learned this strangely enough, not from my own life, but by um, narrating an audiobook about. Uh, I, I narrated an audiobook biography of Susan Sontag, <laughs> and I remember encountering this word while reading it, and had to make sure I was pronouncing it correctly. Anyway, a Google Maps marker is a pin. Nauseated while on the road is carsick. There we go. Right. Tosses and turns. Oh, right. Oh, tosses and turns. Two things associated with a game of horse shoes. Yeah. That, that's sort of, I had something like that in my head originally, didn't I? Oh, that's so interesting. So, so what's this one going to be? Rock and roller? Because he's the roller? Is that the reason? Rock and roller. Maybe that is the answer. Tick off. To tick someone off to irk them. Rooster's mate would be a hen, so a... a Female rather than male chicken. City with two MLB teams. Chicago, I guess. Chicago, is that true? Chicago has the White Sox and Cubs? Sorry to any Chicago fans if I'm saying anything insulting. Articles of neckwear that are a snap to use. Clip-on ties. Truffle truffle hunters squeal. So a truffle, a pig um, could be a specialist truffle hunter and could... Oink, oink, make a pig squealing sound. Baseball players Garrick and Boudreau. Well, at least I do know Lou Garrick, the baseball player, famous baseball player for whom also a disease is named. Not you too to Caesar. Et tu, uh, Brute, as he said in uh, Shakespeare's 
uh, rendering of the scene of the death of Caesar. Strangely, and Japanese wraps are kimonos, yeah, clothing in this case. Invoice abbreviation could be an amount. Is it as simple as that? What hits Chicken Little's noggin? Uh, so this is the story where Chicken Little goes around claiming the sky is falling. What was it, a pebble or a rock or something? I'm not sure. Oh, an acorn, maybe. Maybe is that what, that, that what hits Chicken Little's headache? Weights colloquially. Oh, iron is in pumping iron in the, in the idiomatic phrase. Detective Wolf. Oh, Nero Wolf was a, um, he was a sort of sedentary detective character of fiction. Sort of never left his home. That was kind of his gimmick. Boy in Bogota, uh, Nino, so young young boy, Nino in Spanish. Possesses is, owns something, possesses it. Doodled say you drew a picture. Oh, and here's another one of these. Two things associated with the Vatican. Um, counter? Vatican. Why do I not see what that is? It'll be something Catholic, presumably, but I can't quite see it. Uh, neither's mate could be neither nor, neither this nor that. Place for lions, thieves, or a TV, a den. A lion, lion's den, thieves' den, or a, a TV den. Sort of living room, I suppose. Reception room. Happy or sleepy, e.g. Those are dwarves from the Snow White story. Where Emirates Airline is headquartered. Uh, Dubai, presumably. That would make sense. Instruments sometimes confused with the clarinet. Oboe, I suppose. Another woodwind. Like a stereotypical bouncer at a club, I guess, would be a beefy sort of person, stereotypically. Lipstick holder could be a tube of lipstick. Scrub at NASA could be to scrub a mission, to abort a mission, cancel it. And a tiny amount, as of moose, could be a dab, just a, just a dab. So here we are. Oh, town and country, right. Two things. Oh, that's clever, because the Vatican is essentially a city-state. So the two things associated, another way to refer to city-state would be town and country. That's very clever. I like that a lot. All Things Considered Error, that's a program on NPR, National Public Radio in the United States. Stevedores Workplace would be a pier, so stevedores who, um, you know, load uh, goods on and off ships. Uh, San Remo, Italy, <laughs> my, my uh, namesake, I suppose. And String Before Fa Sol La, Do Re Mi, so this is um, in the Solfege musical uh, sort of note equivalent system, which I think I also... It was also mentioned, referenced in the puzzle yesterday. Anyway, do re mi fa sol la tito. Wood decay that, despite its name, requires moisture. Dry, dry rot. Um, uh, wood decay, and then park your keister. Set. Oh, it should be set. So do re mi. Mi can be spelled m e or m i. Actually, many of these letters have uh, several um, sort of variant spellings. Anyway, do re me with an I in that case, which I think is actually the more common one, so I should have tried it first. But in the if you solve the listener crossword, which is a very sort of brutally difficult uh, themed cryptic crossword published by the Times here in the UK, um, you get a lot of the variants of these. And so I countered me with an E. First film critic to win a uh, Pulitzer Prize for criticism. Uh, Ebert, maybe Roger Ebert? I would believe it. I didn't know that, but I'd believe it. Breakaway groups are sects. You could have religious sects, breakaway groups. Banal sentimentality, so to speak. Um, corn is in corniness? And I, you don't really hear it said that way, so this could be wrong. I might be on the wrong track. If something's in reference to something else, it's about it. Oops. Um, antacid brand. And in need of sanitizing. Germy? Is that a word? Corn and germy, two sort of forms of these words. I'm not very... Uh, I'm not very familiar with. Place for wallowing, a sty, a pigsty. It is germy. So this is... Oh, Tums, right. That's some, that is a sort of medication. It's just an antacid. Okay. Fair enough. Blank window, 1954 thriller. This is a rear window, the great um, Alfred Hitchcock film. And uh, with uh, Jimmy Stewart in a wheelchair. It goes from coast to coast. Um, not a train. An, an ocean. Right. It goes from the coast of one 
landmass to a coast of a different landmass. There we go. As opposed to when we often say coast to coast, what we mean is sort of within a single landmass, but not in this case. Unit that derives from Old English for open field. Is it acre? That's an interesting fact, if so. Oil rich nation could be Iran. And person who might do the Vulcan salute, a nerd, I suppose, sort of Star Trek fan, a Trekkie. And then a metal dis de detector's discovery, say, maybe could be a coin of something you could find at the metal detector. So there we go. That was the Tuesday crossword. Got through it in reasonably decent time. Took a few detours, <laughs> some turns, I guess. Uh, but a very nice theme that, for whatever reason, I, I don't know why I struggled so much to put these into the grid. I guess I just didn't, I didn't spend enough time thinking about alternative phrasing. So, uh, but I, I got the basic idea fairly, fairly early on. Two things associated with a game of horseshoes, tosses and turns. So you toss the horseshoe, it sort of turns in the air and then hopefully catches the peg. And even then it might sort of rotate a bit further around it. Uh, we have two things associated with the tale of Sisyphus, rock and roller, and I suppose Sisyphus himself in this case is the roller. Well, or the rock, or the rock becomes the roller once it gets to the top of the hill. I suppose you could see it either way. Um, two things associated with Gene Simmons' kiss and makeup. <laughs> it's very good. I like that one a lot. And two, oh, this is my favorite though. I think two things associated with the Vatican: town and country. I think that's so clever <laughs> to characterize a city-state as as town and country using the, the existing phrase. It's very good. Very nice puzzle. Um, I think appropriate to a Tuesday. I made it probably a bit, uh, I spent longer on it than I needed to by sort of battling against these, these clues in vain until I had enough crosses to find the proper uh, phrasing. But in any case, that was the Tuesday crossword by Gary Larson and Doug Peterson. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I really liked this theme. Hope you did as well. Sorry that I'm rushing off, but I just, uh, I'm very short on time. I'll be back tomorrow for the Wednesday crossword, a midweek mid-difficulty puzzle. We might take just a bit of a step up in challenge for that one. We'll have to find out. In any case, do join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. Mm -hmm.